We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Grim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. Where's my smokes? Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The San Francisco 40 Nightmares battle, the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was the police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Second down and seven. That's about a three yard pickup. <laughs> Four. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, ah, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! That was a nice piece of running, Vim. That's a first down! And it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. I'm a house killer and killer. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Man, this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the... It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, they both wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and two. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right! The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Four more downs to punish the defense, and you better believe they will. And it's first and ten.
Third down, and the punter is warming up. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Check the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. That's a pass and catch for a new game. And how is it a pass? Third down and nine. Boom! You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good... And he's running like a moose right now. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. First and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. Second down and more than the QB would like. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. It's three yards on that run. Third down and six. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up. Touchdown! Is that right, Ben? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm Talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> Third down and and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref.
Third down and forever. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mogren, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And the punter has one job to do, and that's pump the ball. Preferably further than that. He's got the ball now. Let's see. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. He took a beef boost injection. Now wants to stop all over his opponents. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. That's really put some. Nicely done for a first down. Call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll bring up third down and seven. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And it's first and ten. goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? with the attack ref dirty trick. You're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this dead script. Second down and a muffin says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. but a tough three yards. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, with a brutal hit! Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They 
and the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, jeez, Graham, I hope some of them ties them soon. They gotta play football. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. And this is a first and and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And the QB might as well just bury He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down and long. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Glenn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, other than the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight. Tired of the quarterback's tight spiral. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, and that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. First and eight to go. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Second down and six. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. You've got to catch that. Third and two. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Don't 
you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second and three. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Second and three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He runs it for three. Third down and forever. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? That's sort of... Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. quarterback many passing lanes to hit a receiver nice block by the defense there and that'll bring up third down and seven this guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game most kickers should be able to make this one but will this kicker make it Next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episode. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage on in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't know what it is. It's about a three yard pickup. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that. Uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten.
Second down in a very lot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and eight. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Only two minutes left in the game. And that'll bring up second and one. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And it's first and ten. Right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked what do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. <laughs> and he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. They're going for two here. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. <laughs> the 
kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. And the Nashville Lycans lose it home. I'd say there's a sad country song about to be sung. Yeah, you know, with self-driving AI, we'll get a country song where the guy's pickup truck leaves him, too. The home team comes up two points short and a real heartbreaker. It was also a backbreaker, a kneebreaker, and a neckbreaker. What, with the quaker, the baker, and the candlestick maker? What, are you three years old, you fucking simp? He's got a point, Bricks. Let's take it down to the MVP. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.